Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television's broadcast of Frontier Regional Sports. Tonight's girls soccer matchup is against Athol. I'm Karsten. And I'm Alex. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Karsten, looks like a great night for some soccer tonight. It's about 73 degrees out. All right, we got two Pioneer North heavyweights, Athol and Frontier, clashing. Frontier at 2-1-1 one and, one, and Athol at 2-2. Two two. Welcome to tonight's game between our guests, the Red Raiders from Athol High School and your Frontier Red Hawks. We'd like to introduce both teams. First, the reserves for the Red Raiders. Number seven, Jenna St. Cyr. Number 17, Madison Robertson. Number 18, Sophie Putnam. Number eight, Lily King. Number nine, Emma Basagalupo. Number 19, Kendall DeLeo. Number 18, Caitlin Baptista. And number one, Haley Wrigley. Now for the Athol starters. Number one, Peyton Parker. Number four, Amber Mahoney. Number six, Krista Jilson. Number 13, Masedra Young. Number 10, Angelica Baptista. Number 2, Grace Dufour. Number 14, Taylor Cleveland. Number 3, Hannah York. Number 15, Destiny Wrigley. Number 5, Shelby Mayu. And number 12, Ali Raymond. The Red Raiders are coached by Tim Cleveland. Now for our Red Hawks. Backup goaltender, Maricela Ackerman. Number 13, Maddie Crocker. Number 5, Hannah Cantor. Number 15, Marie Demon. And number 11, Caitlin Mackin. Now for our starters. In goal, Lexa Boyden. Number 10, Angela Self. Number 17, Katie Thompson. Number 4, Caitlin Devine. Number 26, Alicia Hancock. Number two, Jenna Martin. Number nine, Natalie Denkevitz. Number 25, Claudia Rajbali. Number seven, Victoria Speth. Number 19, Megan Danak. Number 14, Cambry Hamilton. The Red Hawks are coached by Phil Patelli. Underwriting support for tonight's game provided by the law office of Daniel F. Graves in Greenfield, focusing on real estate, estate planning, and business law. dgraveslaw at gmail.com. Yeah, like you said earlier, Carson, this is a really a game with a lot of implications, especially in the standings as we see Frontier sitting at third place, 2-1-1, one, and, one, and Athol sitting in fourth place, 2-2. Two two. So the winner of this game is going to take over third place in the Pioneer North Division standings. Yes, and Frontier hasn't had an easy uh, route getting here, having to face Mahar, the number one team in the Pioneer North, which did not go well for the Red Hawks. Yeah, 4-1 loss, but, you know, my sources tell me there were some positives coming out of that game as well. Many bright points in this team with seven underclassmen. Yeah, that's true. Two of those uh, underclassmen, Natalie Dankiewicz and Camby Hamilton, are the, really the leaders of this team, and, you know, so far how they've, how they've gone has been the way the team's gone. Seven points and five points apiece. Sturdy leaders for this Harrier team. <laughs> so here we go tonight. Uh, you know, Athol's had quite a drive up here, but. Stiff legs might take into account the result of tonight's game. But I'm sure after that warm up, they're ready to go and give their best to Frontier. 
Yeah, so all we're waiting here is for the ref's whistle. And number nine, Natalie Dankiewicz will tee off the ball. And we're underway. All right, Frontier immediately sends it up. Down the middle. Oh, Athol takes it, however. Carries the ball. Tries to send it up the sideline. They're fighting now. Oh, and a big send by Athol down the right corner. Out of bounds. Resulting in a goal kick for Frontier's Lexa. One of the few seniors on this very young Red Hawk team. She takes it into the middle. Natalie controls. Looks up the right sideline for Katie Thompson, and it's intercepted by the AFL defender. A good idea there by Natalie, but execution might have lacked a bit. Another try by Frontier, dispelled by the AFL back line. Now Frontier's throwing on the right corner. Oh, so, never mind, that was Athol's. Throwing is successful. Number five on Athol. Jenna takes it away and then gives it right back. Throwing into Katie Thompson. Stolen by the Athol defender. Back to Ashley, Alicia. Given to Angela Self, who carries it up the middle. Looks to the left. Ah, the pass hits Katie Devon. Good idea there. Spreading the ball out. Oh, giving to Cambry Hamilton on a run up the left. Tries to dribble around the defender. But the defender muscles around her. Takes the ball. Which Cambry gets back now? Gives it to Claudia. Now to Katie Devine again. There's a scrap in the middle. Athol comes away. Pass is stolen by Katie Thompson. Is controlled, given to Jenna Martin, who then gives it to Angela Self. Angela looks down the left again, goes for a big ball. Ooh. That was a good idea. Very good pass by Self, but not able to be controlled by the left wing. I tell you what, a few minutes in, it seems Frontier's really dominating the possession battle here. Frontier truly is. Athol with a try up the right corner, given back to the center, who puts it back to the right corner. The wing is given a run that couldn't quite execute. Frontier sends it back up the left side. The running in this game will uh, definitely take into account the final result of this game. Ooh, Natalie. Trying to do some footwork in the middle. Katie Ooh. takes a shot from the 18. Oh. Saved by the keeper. High arcing shot. Punt goes to the frontier back line. They quickly pass it out to avoid any further trouble. Athol trying to go down that right corner again. Stopped by the Frontier defender. I believe that is Megan Danak and stop. Well, Karsten, one very important part of every uh, team sport is the referees. And tonight we've got a true Western Mass legend over here. Shot by that. Back to what I was saying on the far, the far side of the field, line judge. All I know him by is Harry, but he's been refereeing my game since uh, Little League Baseball. And I, Harry Chadwick. Just a legend. You, you haven't seen minor league baseball until you've seen the Harry Chadwick strikeout call, I tell you that much. Mm. And you was a catcher in that minor league. You two must have <laughs> gained quite the pawn. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Many games you shared together in that, that back corner. That is true. Frontier plays with it around midfield, passing it around. Good control, keeping possession. Angela Self dribbles toward that left corner again. Gives it back to Danak, the defender. Who puts it back into the center? Oh, Athol intercepts the pass though. Lazy pass there. Jenna stops the Athol attack, dishes it out to the side. Katie has it, trying to do some footwork. Oh, doesn't quite work out. Throwing Athol around the field. 
Frontier, getting a long send, attempting to go to Cambry Hamilton. Cambry does get it. That off the Athol back line is going to be pretty hard to get by. A lot of tall girls. Yeah, there's been a, some physical some physical play down there on the Athol end of the field, but you know I think the rest are just going to let it go tonight and you know let them play. It's a good idea. One of my sources tells me that Athol can be quite rough at times, and I don't know how Frontier will deal with that tonight, but I'm sure they'll find a way around it. They'll have to adapt to get this one. Frontier passing it around the middle. Jenna Martin with the ball, giving it to Angela Self in the center again. She looks right now. Oh no, looks for a shot. Gonna have to get a little closer to that goal to put that much power on it and come away with the result. Yeah, I believe the Athol's keeper is Taylor Cleveland. Uh, they're not, Frontier's not going to fool around those shots from 20 plus yards out, it seems. that She's got those covered up pretty much, so they'll have to get a little more action in towards the goal to put one away. The Athol back line will fight very hard to prevent that from happening. But with Speed and Cambry and Natalie and 12 points between them and only four games, I believe they can easily find a way around that. by Boyden to midfield. Not controlled by the Athol defender. Cameron gets a deflection. Now he recovers on the Athol side. Send it up to Katie Thompson. Nearly. Kevitz up the corner. She called for a foul though. Don't know if I agree with that. It seemed like they were just shoving on both sides. And she came away with a short stick. What do you think of the formation being run by Frontier and their head coach, uh, Philip Patelli, tonight? Well, I think Patelli definitely is uh, keeping defense in mind with this one. Oh, an errant pass. Yeah, I would agree. It seems Frontier's only got two attacking players up there, and that might have hurt him on a few of these plays. Yep. Midfielders seem to be coming back on most possessions. But the trade off of that strategy, of course, is much harder for the other team to score. Yes, I thought I won't have a very easy time doing that tonight. No good shots have come yet in the first eight minutes of this game. Let's hope that changes. Good ball up the middle to the left wing. Plays around with it, sends it back to the center. Controlled by the Athol midfielder. Looking up the right side for a send. Gets it. We're just receiving news here that our boys soccer team won 4-1 today, so good news all around. Very good, let's hope that the girls can follow up to that result and come away with a win here tonight. Boys soccer now stands at 3-0-2, having yeah. not lost a single game in their last five. Definitely some high expectations for them coming in. Very high expectations. As the two-time uh, Western Mass reigning champions. This girls team taking a bit of a different path this year, as they've been a Cambry Hamilton with a shot. Ooh, control. as they've been out of the playoffs the last couple of years, but with a young team, they're trying to get back there. That off-ball keeper's had it pretty easy so far, and I think Frontier really wants to find some success. They need to start picking the corners of the goal, make it a little harder for the goalkeeper to move and get that save, instead of putting it right down the middle. Good blue ball to Katie on the left wing. Controls it, gives it back to the middle. Back to Angela. Mm. Pass not quite precise enough to get past that as all the Bring 
definitely seems like a lot of the game's being played from the from the 30 yard line to about the other 30 yard line. That's exactly what Frontier wants to do tonight. Keep it out of their side. Keep the pressure on Atha all night. Good clear by Torres Beth to Natalie. Natalie fights for possession. Ooh, kicks it off the Athol defender. Frontera's good field position. Put in a good attempt. Mm. Devine has to be a little more wary of defenders there. Sturdy defense by Hancock. Just as I thought looks like they're about to put in a real good attempt here, Frontier keeps on getting in the middle of that, interrupting their ideas. Very few shots on goal for the Red Raiders tonight. We'll scrap in the 18. Yeah, you know, I think if Athol's going to score tonight, they're going to have to do it from uh, outside the 20 because they're really getting nothing going inside the box here. Mm, I hope they have a sharpshooter. Well, why would you hope for that? I mean, that was Frontier. Uh, frontier oh, combination. <laughs> Just want a good game tonight. Nothing more you can want from the game. Ooh, strong hit by Natalie outside the 18. Again, keeper was able to put that to her chest. Oh, oh another shot by Natalie. Oh. Oh. Just over that top right corner. A great show of sportsmanship by number two, returning Natalie's uh, headband there. Mm -hmm. Both teams showing fast. <laughs> that could have been one highlight real play and that got it. Good defense by Frontier, gaining that clearance. Athol gets back, keeps on sending it up that right corner, looking for something to happen from those wins. Oh, shot in the middle! Oh, oh Athol my! Athol gets the lead out of nowhere. Frontier was not able to stop that cross. Just a nice ball there. Someone's got to cover her on the middle. Someone didn't pick her up. Wonderful strike there. Giving a great ball and able to just control it right into the net. And now we've got our first set of substitutions with uh, Hannah Cantor and... Number 13 coming on. Which is Maddie Crocker. She's been a quality acquisition for the Red Hawks. Adding to their depth. Borden really had no chance of stopping that. Yeah. It's that close. Nothing you can do except put your hands up and hope that Apple you come goal away with the lucky stop. In the 13th minute, scored by number two, Grace Dufour, assisted by number 12, Ali Raymond. Sophomore with the goal. Grace Dufour. And when you look at that, that's some good karma there. So a great sportsmanship on this side, and then she gets the goal a few minutes later on the other side. The ball is played around in the middle. Neither team can quite get the upper hand. Going back and forth. Oh. 
Self breaks oh, free, nice sends it up to Camry. Wonderful ball. Can she quite get oh. to it? Goalie comes out and she gets it. Great ball, but a great play by the goalie as well. Great awareness coming out to stop that attack. Natalie with the footwork in the middle. Taking another shot off a of deflection. Controlled by the Red Raiders keeper once again. Yeah, they're getting some good looks. I think they just gotta get in a little closer. Yeah, Frontier has had maybe five or six shots tonight. But nothing's quite falling for them. And I'd say the possession is definitely in favor of them, maybe 60%, 40%. I'd say about so. Natalie, not quite sure what she was trying to do in that corner, but. Well, I mean, she was just making sure the ball was out of bounds. Seems to have paid off for the Red Hawks. And Tori Speth will take the corner here. Frontier with an interesting formation off the corner. Right into the center. Oh, oh, right in front of the goal. Oh, another nice play by the keeper. That was a chance right there. Somebody could have came in and tapped that in, but no Frontier player got lucky enough to be right there. Angela Self gives a nice ball. Right down at Natalie, who puts it in the middle. Goal! <laughs> Great placement by the sophomore. That was just right a beautiful shot. Corner. Beautiful shot. Nothing the keeper could do. And a nice ball in, too. Make that point number six. This sequence just really showed the mentality of the Frontier girls soccer team. I mean, you go down 1-0, but they didn't, they didn't let that get them down at all. They responded right away. And you know, we've got ourselves a game here. Great look by Self. We saw Denkevitz making that run up the right corner. Picked the perfect time to put it right past that out of the Yeah, she couldn't have placed it any better in that left corner. Goalkeeper left it wide open, and she saw it. <laughs> Shaping up to be a very nice the game. 16th minute. Scored by number nine, Natalie Denkevitz. Assisted by number 10, Angela Self. And at the next stoppage of play, we'll have number 19, Megan Danak, re-entering the game. Add some fresh energy to that frontier back line. Good clear by that Athol defender. Keeping her team out of even more trouble. Got to be careful of either team gaining momentum after they've scored a goal. Definitely got a nice, healthy home crowd here tonight, wouldn't you say? I'd say so. Seems like the student section is almost nearly full tonight. Great showing for the girls' soccer game. As a basketball player yourself, Carson, how would you say uh, playing at home affects your mentality and helps you out in the game? Well, it really helps out the fans on your side. It can really make you feel a lot more confident in your play. And to not have fans screaming at you and giving you bad glares really helps oh, with the confidence. Oh, just over the crossbar there by Natalie Denkevitz. Man, she has gotten a lot of shots out tonight, hasn't she? She really has. I think that's a good idea, though. Having already scored one of them with a great look, I think she should continue to shoot. Yeah, definitely. See where that brings Frontier. Shoot or shoot. Exactly. As a point guard, Slash shooting guard, three-point threat. 
You're well aware of that fact. Alex? Are you there? Throwing to Divine in the center. Ooh, is that a try or a pass? Controlled by Cambry, puts Ooh. it in the middle. Another good stop by the Athol defense. Yeah, it seems only Cambry and Natalie are up there, so it's either going to be them or, you know, I don't know who anyone else is going to go up there and score for them. Yeah, well, shoot or shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Turning my words against me, are you? <laughs> that I am, Alex. by the frontier defenseman. Passing it around. Martin with the outlet. To the corner. Divine, oh. Errant pass, controlled by Anton. But overall tonight, the back three frontier have been playing very well, aside from that one flub on the Athol goal. Have to agree with you there, Alex. <laughs> Stop by Athol, sending it back up that right corner. They really like that right corner. And Lexi going to come out there. And it's going to be a corner kick. All right. Let's see if Athol has the uh, precision on those corners that Frontier had on this side. Athol with a more traditional formation off the corner. Into the middle, oh. bouncing around. Oh, oh! Was there a whistle? Yes, there was. A beautiful corner kick, though. You can't ask for much better placement than that. No, you cannot. Put it right in the middle of the action. Well, it seems like it might have been a handball against on Frontier. Frontier. And Philip Patelli is not pleased with that call. No, he is not. Is it going to be a conference? And just as Frontier thought they were getting bailed out. Out of the furnace and into the fire, am I right? Oh, man. Here we go. So much pressure in these situations. Boyden picked the right side, but not quite get her hands on that ball. Yeah, you know, that's a perfect low, low into the corner. That's where you want it, I guess. That's what you want to do. Number 10 did a great job of that tonight. Yeah, kind of a controversial call. I guess we'll have to look at the replay to see what really went on down there. Maybe one day instant replay will be allowed to be used by these high school refs. But until that day, you've got to trust in the yellow shirts coming out. Yeah, me personally, I love I love the human element in sports, you know. I don't know about all these replays in the NFL, NFL and then I'll be in the, in the pro circuits. Minute, and next thing you know, they'll be playing the game for us. By number yeah, exactly. 10. And here comes the train. Oh, always a regular showing at these Frontier games. You gotta love their support. That's quite an experience, huh? You don't see that in every arena. That horn really gives you that extra boost of energy in these late game situations. Well, I don't know about late game, we're still midway through the first half here, guys. Oh, running for 24 minutes is no easy feat for these girls. Soccer has a lot of running. Yeah, that's for sure. I've heard some studies say that nearly eight miles are ran. <laughs> Sorry, nearly eight miles are ran in the 90 minute period in some of these professional soccer games. Yeah, I believe our classmate Connor Bagman tells us about how much he runs quite a bit. He's quite the runner. We'll have to get the numbers from him for our next broadcast. Oh, 
I tell you, I'm really impressed with the student section tonight. It's a Monday night. I'm sure they, everyone's got homework, but you know, got to come out and support your classmates. You got to showing some great school spirit over there. Yeah, and you know, it's been a pretty good start for a lot of Frontier sports this fall, hasn't it? It really has been. Aside from a disappointing loss for our football team last Friday night against Greenfield, but they'll bounce back. You know, got a three-headed monster tandem of running backs in the backfield. So. Very true. Well, let's not get off topic here. Huh? <laughs> we are at a soccer game. <laughs> Frontier battling for the ball. What do you think the mentality should be for Frontier right now? Down 2-1, trying, trying to get one before the half. Well, I think they're doing a pretty good job of spreading the ball out in the field, moving it side to side. They need to keep on doing that. Maybe a little uh, better choice of shots than that. Yeah, you know, when, when we scored the goal, it was on a nice run. I haven't really seen a run since then. It seems to be just shots from outside the, way outside the box. Well, I'm sure Athol will be closely guarding that region after that first goal. Probably making some adjustments. Yeah, and it seems they're really trying to put the clamps down on Natalie Dane Kevitz as well, as she's clearly Frontier's best threat. Well, it's only 24 minutes in the game here. We'll see how it shapes up. We know Cambria yeah, Hamilton has quite the resume this year. That is true. She's been quiet on the left side so far. I think that's a real statement for uh, quality of Athol's defense, but I'm sure we'll see some of her. Expect her to go off at any minute. getting back, putting pressure on the Athol defender. Good play by Self at the top. Taking a big look. I think they could have used a few more passes before that shot on that one. Yeah, it seemed like she had a girl up on the left that she could have given it to. Maybe try to play it in the middle again. You know what they say though, 20-20 hindsight. That is true. Ooh. That ball thrown to the side. Frontier trying to jump in the way, getting possession. Control by the back defender. Kim Nicadio gives a nice ball back. Looking forward to Cambry. Oh, she wants oh, to go. She splits she two. She splits two. Takes a good uh, shot. Oh, ball's still alive. And it seems it's the Frontier a penalty. is rewarded. Here we go. The pressure's on once again. Could this be a makeup call? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I think, I think the call before was a pretty good call, but... I mean, you can't rule that out here in sports, can you? No, you cannot. Hopefully we can put this away like Athol did a little earlier. Seems itself will be taking a shot. The crowd is excited. This is a very pivotal moment in this game. Here we go. Oh, she cuts it away. Place. She just put that one away. A very good approach. Not letting the goalkeeper know which way she was going to go and shooting it to the right. The goalie didn't even flinch, did she? No, she didn't. Throws her right in her tracks. I love to see Alexa Boyden come out from the goal to congratulate her teammates on every goal. <laughs> That's good to see when you're a striker. Get support from all areas of the field. Yeah, you know, we know Lex has got some of, some of the most school spirit in the entire school. 
She is quite the leader at most of these rallies. And I'm sure she brings that spirit Frontier to the soccer team every single day. scored in the 27th minute on a penalty kick by number 10, Angela Self. Good send it to Natalie. She wants to go with it. She splits That's three. Two defenders. Three defenders. Crosses the oh left again. My. Amazing placement. I just had deja vu, Alex. Oh that my. Was really exactly. Exactly. You she, said it perfectly. She is quite the strike from that right side. She split three defenders there. Three. You're right about deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> deja vu. Man, oh man, coming from that right side and just putting it in the left corner. She really dug deep, found her speed. The crowd just erupted after that one. That's what you love to see. Fan section loves that. Who doesn't? This is what high school sports is all about. We have many of the members of the Frontier soccer team showing up tonight to support their girls. Frontier goal in the 27th minute, scored by number nine, Natalie Benkevitz, assisted by number 13, Maddie Crocker. So it was a timeout by the athletic coach, I believe. It'd be a good time for both teams to regroup. Especially Athol after letting up two goals in such a short span of time. They can't fall behind now if they want to have a chance to stay with this racing Frontier Red Hawk team. This just in, field hockey took a 6-1 dub today on the road. Very good to see from our field hockey team, which is looking to bounce back after a heart-crushing loss in last year's Western Mass Finals yeah, but against the Greenfield field hockey team. They're perennially, perennially there, though, as they won the year before. Yes, they're one of the most consistent teams in this Western Mass area. It's looking like a... I, I hate to get off topic again, but it's looking like another Greenfield Frontier final in that field hockey. Seems almost unavoidable at this point. Let's not count on chickens before they hatch, though, am I right? That's true. Never want to count those chickens before they hatch. <laughs> because what if they don't hatch? <laughs> All right, enough jokes. You're killing me here, you're killing me here. Oh, I can't help myself tonight. <laughs> Great showing by Frontier, putting me in the best of spirits. Here we go, here we go. Good patience on the ball, sending it back to the middle. Giving it to Katie, who looks maybe for a shot. Good stop by the Athol defender, and a great clear to the middle. Really bailing them out of the danger there. Athol, however, sends it the other way. Oh, the ball really hasn't been on this half much, has it? No, it is not. Oh, great move by Hancock. Giving it to Devine, who's running up, maybe looking for Natalie. Nope, gives it to Angela. Looking for goal. Not quite there. Fishing it back in the middle, looking to make something out of it. Try. Uh, just missed. Just shy of that right post. Wouldn't it be nice for a first half hat trick to happen? It would be nice for us, not for Athol. No, it would not be. I can't believe they haven't just glued someone to her. Because, I mean, Frontier's offense without her has been pretty much non existent tonight. Aside Very from true. the penalty kick, of course. That penalty kick was largely in part due to this Natalie's offense. And Actually, that's not true, Carson, because Natalie was over here getting ready to sub in. Don't 
quite remember that. Sure, instant replay will uh, bail me out. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. But pretty sure she's over here celebrating with her teammates about the penalty kick. But, yeah. We all miss some of them, even the best of us. Sometimes. And Maddie Crocker coming up here to a nice round of applause. Oh, yeah. Run by Athol, stopped by Frontier. Trying again up that right side. Maybe the sixth time tonight. Looking for something. No. the left crosses it very good man open on the left or a woman open on the left in this case Ooh, hard challenge by Angela will we see a card the ref's calling her over let's hope he's not well she just ran away so can I talk to somebody when they're out there this is true Unless you have a great imagination. <laughs> Always with the jokes. Always. Just keeping this interesting. Athol trying to make something on their right side. Long shot. Looking for a divine intervention on that one. Didn't quite get it. Played back the middle. So next Nobody half. Nobody quite there. Next half, we're going to have a guest uh, on the show, or on the broadcast. It's going to be frontier midfielder Doug Hineski talking about their season so far. It'll be good to hear that. They've had quite the electric season. Although in regards to their season, I don't know if their players have been running as much as their mouths have. <laughs> They've certainly talked up quite a storm about yeah, this. Yeah, you know, I heard it was state I heard it was state to bus for them. That's what Zach Hamilton was telling everyone. Yeah, with two outs in the state semifinals the last couple of years. They'll have to have quite the roster, which I believe they do have. Yeah, I think they can definitely do it if they play well. If they, they seem to always come together at the end of the season. Especially with new additions from the New England Rebs Academy, Connor Bagden. He's been performing very well these last couple Yeah, he's their leading goal scorer so far, isn't he? I believe he is. Frontier just totally controlling the game right now. Really? Right as I say that, though, Athol's going to take it away. Good look to the left side. Oh, she could have had a shot there. Another ball to the right. Shot to Boyden, but not fast enough to prevent her from recovering it. And she'll pump that up to middle field. Yeah, definitely a tough angle there for the Athol player. Ooh, possible handball to that one. The ref seems to have seen it. This is quite the high scoring affair, isn't it? Yes, it is. 3-2 before the half. Certainly keeping the fans entertained, though. I can say that much. Certainly is. <laughs> Oof. Good idea, just nobody there. Nobody there. Natalie trying to make a run, but with the ball that much in front of her, not much you can do. It's a little humid out, isn't it? We don't ha quite have the fall feeling in the air tonight. No, it does not feel like fall quite yet. Some are still lingering around. Got a few 70, 80 degree days ahead of us before we really get into that. Typical New England fall season. Ooh. 
dangerous for Athol in that 18. And we're nearing about five minutes to go in the half. Frontier would absolutely love to just keep it this far before the half. And of course, they'd also love to tack one more on, wouldn't they? They would love that even more. But going into the second half of the lead really does wonders for the mentality of the team. This is true. Athol takes it in the middle. Sends it up the right corner. Looking for another run. Dispelled by the Frontier defenseman. Athol's definitely not going to throw in the towel here tonight. They've come a long way from Orange, and uh, they're, they're still right in this thing. I see no signs of them giving up yet. Athol trying to go up that right corner. Can't quite do it with those two defenders stopping them at every turn. Looks like Marie on that stop. Yeah, the Frontier back line has been just outstanding so far. Aside from that, the one crossing goal, and then the other goal is on, as a result of the handball, so. Really can't be any complaints there from Philip Patelli. Mm -hmm. Incidental handball. Look to the middle. Got a good look right there. But his patient playing around with it, and nice a save. hard shot for himself. Another nice save right there. Yeah, hard over height with that keeper. Yeah, you know, the three goals to be a little uh, deceiving here because she's really played quite well. Yes, she has. She's probably had to deal with 10-11 frontier shots on goal in this first half. Yeah, 10-11 from Natalie alone. <laughs> frontier getting ready for the corner. Puts it low, stopped by the front three defender. Nice shot, he's just right at him. So as we near the end of the first half, what do you think are gonna be the keys for each team going forward? Well, I think Frontier, you're gonna to wanna to keep up with their stellar defending, really keeping Athol out of that 18, making Boyd an extra happy. And just keep on spreading the ball out, not getting too bunched up, having good passes and getting closer and closer to that goal until they can get a good run to Natalie or Cameron. But with the lead, they definitely don't need to take any, uh, any extra risks with, for the fear of a counterattack. No, but they really can't rest easy until it's a two-goal lead. Yeah, that's true. And we're not quite sure if that came off the boot wrong or she was going for a higher shot. And what do you think Athol's got to do to break this frontier line tonight? Well, it seems like they have to try something new, Alex. They've been going up that right side nearly every time. And the other times, they're just trying to sail the ball into the center, maybe get a lucky run. So if you had to give this coach some advice, what, what would it be? Go to the ball, Red. Go get the well, that's ball, tough, Red. Alex, seeing as I've uh, not have a, had a great coaching resume so far. but Well, hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically, of course. I would say that... They should include more passing, more central passing, and try and maybe get it up the left side or get some tight passing in the center. Yeah, you know, try and inch towards that goal. Those crosses to the center have really resulted in both their goals being scored. So. Yes, they have. I'd as long as they can get it close to that frontier goal, it gives them a very good chance to pull it in the back of the net. Good steal. Natalie has it, and now she wants to make another scoring run. Gives it to the left. Runs in the middle looking for a pass. Not there. Two minutes to go here. Or is that two minutes of stoppage time? All right, the refs keep the clock here for the last two minutes. Definitely has some intrigue. Definitely. Good challenge by the Athol. Looking up the left side. 
It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And Marie just pushes her out of the way. Good use of her body there. Good job getting it up to the middle to Angela, setting up another counter attack here. Three on five, four on five. And Athol's base. Strong shot by Frontier, but that'll do it for the first half. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television's broadcast of tonight's girls soccer matchup against Athol, and we'll be back for the second half. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television broadcast of Frontier Regional Sports. Uh, tonight, we're here once again, second half, Athol vs. Frontier, and I'm joined with a very special guest here, Doug Kineski, midfielder from the Frontier Boys soccer team. It's a real honor to be here. So how's the season been going so far for you and your teammates? It's been going well through five games. We have three wins and two ties. How, how's the environment of the team right now? How's everyone doing? Boys are really starting to gel. I think we're going to get on a real good roll coming soon. We're on a, riding a three-game win streak at the moment. We were talking earlier about uh, how high the expectations were this year. What would you say about those expectations, and how are you uh, dealing with the pressure of being two-time Western Mass reigning champions? I think it's, uh, it's different from us. The last two years we've been the underdog, and now we're, I would consider ourselves the favorite, but I think uh, we have the talent to repeat again. What have you seen from uh, our girls team tonight? Putting on quite a good show up, 3-2 as the second half is underway. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Sharp, this, these are two high power offenses. They can really score the ball. This is true, this is true. There's a shot. So you were talking about uh, the team's high expectations a little bit. How, how does everyone deal with that mentally? Because I know you guys didn't get out to the start. You might have wanted to with those two ties against Mount Greylock and Bungo Mountain. But. I think uh, those teams were very well organized and disciplined. And I think we weren't happy with the tie, but at least it's not a loss. And we'll be, re uh, we'll be ready if we see them again come tournament time. And, you know, I, we can't talk about Frontier Soccer without mentioning the new addition of the year from the New England Revolution, Connor Bagdon. What do you have to say about him and what he's added to the team? Uh, He's probably the best player in Western Mass. He brings a lot to the table. He's very dynamic. He can score, possess as well. Big, strong target in the middle. He brings a lot to the table. And how do you fit in with the team? Uh, my role is to link up the offense to the defense and uh, try to minimize the mistakes. And if someone makes a mistake, try to slide over and cover for them. As we've seen so far tonight, role players can be very important to a team's success. How, how are your bench players this year? I think all of our bench players can step on the field and make an immediate impact on the game. I think that's where we're different from the last couple of years. I think 1 through 21 were the best team in Western Mass and the best team we've ever had at Frontier. Really? Those are some high words. Though. All right, well, I'm sure you want to get back to the fan section. It's been an honor having you on. Thank you, Mr. Sharp. And we're prepared to report that our volleyball team won three sets to zero against Athol tonight. Great to be back with you, Alex. Great to be back. <laughs> it's great to have you back. Just a classy young gentleman, Doug Nasty, am I right? Very classy. He's really tying that team together in the midfield. Yeah. Oh, just over the crossbar. Great look, wide open shot. She has the power to put that in the corner. Didn't quite happen that time. Yeah, you know, so far the second half, it seems to be more of the same. Not a whole lot of attack from Atha, and Frontier is just controlling the ball. Exactly what Frontier wants to see. I mean, we may be a little biased, Kirsten, but uh, these Frontier Fall Sports are really 
they seem to just be strong every year. They really do. And I think you can uh, attribute that to, to many things. The students, the athletic director, the overall reputation of Frontier Athletics. Yeah, one team we haven't talked about so far is the cross country teams. I think they're doing pretty well so far this year as well. Oh, we're going for their, uh, what is it, fourth undefeated season? Oh, how would I know? Yeah, well, they've been really tied together by youth these last couple of years, and this youth is really growing into themselves and becoming Western Mass leaders. Exactly. Hopefully bring home a Western Mass championship. Tori Spath just cleared that, by the way. Very nice defensive play there. Sometimes that's what you gotta do, you just kick it out of bounds. Frontier has been exhibiting great composure in that back line. Go Red. Ready. Athol will try to make something out of this throwing. Good interruption by Katie Devine on that one. I don't know if these Athol players at the end of the bench are dealing with cramps or some injuries, but they seem to be in some, some discomfort sitting down over there on the right side. Yeah, and cleats off. Sure hope they aren't dealing with any injury. We were talking about the humidity, so, you know, cramps can always be a factor. Yes, yeah. they can. Especially Gotta eat the didn't hydrate and uh, get their salts. Exactly. And, and bananas. The potassium is key. Here we go with a corner kick from number zero. High loping kick in the middle, getting right where Athol wants it. Puts it back in the middle to the other side. Another attempt. I tell you, we've seen three we've seen three or four corner kicks tonight. It seems like every one of them has been very well placed from both teams. That's always good to see when you're coach. Get on it, Get on it. Seems another corner kick here. Must have been a deflection on that last play. I tell you, I didn't see that deflection, but now you know the rest definitely know better than me. Can't argue with that. And that corner kick is gonna be a bit far. Just a bit. Frontier will now try and uh, start the counterattack. But Natalie leading the charge, going up the left side. Oh, picking up some aggressiveness from those defenders. And she's going. Nobody quite there. Needs to place that a little better. How many defenders did she just take on? She'll take on the whole team if she asks her, Alex. Seems there's no end to her offensive prowess. Pure determination from Dan Kevitt tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely true. Athol, Athol's had no response really, have they? No, they haven't. What would be your uh, your strategy uh, as an opposing coach when you go up against such a dynamic player? Well, immediately, I mean, after that first goal, you saw her ability to just run up the right side, place it perfectly in that bottom left corner. I'd immediately want to inform my defense about that and try and get an adaptation where she will be heavily guarded and extra attention will be paid to her to prevent further goals. Obviously that didn't work out for them though as Kevin said pretty much the same thing a few minutes later. No, the defense did not learn from the first time. Well, you know what they say, Alex. Fool me once, shame on me. Shame I was on just you. thinking that. I was Fool just thinking twice. that. Shame on me. Exactly. Thank you, Fool me. We'll see about that. Then Kevin's at the top of the 18, delivers Ooh. a strong strike to that right side, just wide. The crowd is really getting riled up here. Did you just hear those chants? Yep. That energy will surely affect the outcome of this game. Will it? Well, I mean, three to two. Something's affecting the outside outcome of this game. Obviously. I know. I don't. I don't know how much the crowd can really affect them out there. They, they really are far away from the far away from the oh. noise out there. Another powerful shot. Goalkeeper lucked out that time. I thought we'll try counterattack, but Frontier is ready with four women back already. Yeah, they've really been doing a great job hustling back. Athol looks to the center, good control by number four. Splitting a couple, and putting it up to left, but taken away by Frontier's Jenna Martin. Martin has brought quite the energy tonight, constantly running up and down, fighting for every single ball. And she is one of the instrumental pieces of this Frontier defense. 
Yeah, this defense deserves a lot of credit for what's going on right now. Both goals are a little fluky, I'd say. One was just a missed assignment, which obviously there's some responsibility there, but the other one was just a misplaced handball and the ensuing uh, penalty kick. Drew Chambers fighting towards the center. Mallory almost gets a shot, but it's cleared by the AFL defense. Thompson plays in the middle. Errant shot by Self. Finally cleared by the AFL defense. Hamilton and Hamilton and Ben Kevitz. <laughs> Just great on offense tonight. Hamilton, although not with the result that will show up on the scorecard at the end of the night, she is helping Dick Kevitz out very much on the offensive end. Oh, that looked close, didn't it? Athol's coach sure thought it was a thought there was a chance there. He like, so jumped up and down and clapped his hand in frustration there. <laughs> Sometimes hard to tell from this angle. It's great to see coaches get into it though. You know, nothing like a bad bad coach to ruin an athletic experience, but nothing like a good one to really make it better. Patelli is coaching within himself very well tonight, even after that controversial handball. Oh, look at the speed there. Oh, good ball to the center. Hancock does a great job of clearing that out. They kept to the steal, and she is running out the side. Hugging that left corner as she streaks toward the middle. Oh, meets some adversity with the AFL defense. Sends it back to the middle towards Devon. Devon with a nice footwork back to Martin. Martin with the aggressiveness on defense, taking that ball back. It's all about the 50-50 balls, and she won that one. You gotta want it, Alex. You gotta want it. You know what to say, man. It's not about the dog in the fight. It's about the fight in the dog. <laughs> and these dogs have lots of fights tonight. Then Kevitz with a chance in the center. Oh, she has oh the my. Oh, my. Goal. I hope There's you brought your hats. There's I hope you brought there. your hats, fellas. She was not missing from that close. The crowd is just going crazy. She saw the ball and she was ready to pummel that. Wow, just unbelievable performance tonight. And anyone who's got their hat should be throwing them on the field because that is a hat trick. Oh, the fans are pumped up after that one, all rising out of their seats. This game has surely been one for the books. Just, just a great goal. I mean, she collected at her feet and just the goalie had no chance. No, she did not. Natalie knew that was a goal as soon as it was pushed in front of her foot. And there's that two-goal lead you were talking about that makes everyone feel a little more safe. Frontier can relax a little bit now and settle in the, into their defensive formation. Ooh, aggressiveness by Athol. Good job protecting the ball by Self. In the 52nd minute, Frontier goal scored by number nine, Natalie Denkevich. Assisted by number 14, Cambry. Natalie Hamilton. with another shot. She's got enough. She's just all over the place. More than 10. Plus. She's just been all over the place, and Philip Patelli's going to give her a well earned break here as the crowd gives a round of applause. Frontier regains possession. Divine plays it in the middle. A little too far. I don't play, I don't edit in the natural happening anymore. Martin fighting for the ball, gives it back to Divine. Divine plays it in the center to Hamilton. Goal. Looks good from here, but you know, we don't have the angle. Strong shot by Hamilton. 
You'd have to think one more goal would really put this one away and be the icing on the cake. One more goal would surely end it. A miracle would have to happen for Athol to come back from a three goal deficit. Well, you know what they say, it ain't over till the fat lady sits. Very true. In this case, we're the, the yellow shirted male. <laughs> Defensive stop is the defensive just been, just been like a brick wall in the back tonight. Totally impenetrable. Well, it was penetrated twice, but virtually impenetrable. Virtually. Ooh, Hamilton with the extra touch, very unnecessary there. passing. Self with the ball again. Looking to the left. Not quite there. She'll try again though. Oh, she switches direction. Maybe looks toward the goal. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, you should check out our broadcast on Channel 12 in the Four Towns. FCAP Media, our YouTube channel, to watch uh, FRS sports like this one, as well as FRS events, plays, concerts, and more. And, you know, we hope you're bearing with us tonight. This is Carson and I's debut on the air. Yeah, first of many appearances for us. We certainly hope so. FCAP just does an unbelievable job covering all these events, don't they? Yes, they do. Good pass by Athol interior. Oh, good ball into the center. Number 19 couldn't quite control it. That could have been disastrous for the Red Hawks. Don't give up on it. Don't ever give up on it. Yeah, you know, it seems Athol's been very close for a few, uh, few times, but they just haven't really put it all together yet. I thought we'll have another corner. Try and drop it right in the center again. Get a lucky touch in the box. It's played right in the center. Oh, it went off the top bar. Ooh, and a nice ball by Tori Spath up the, up the left side now. Self's going with it. Athol defender is catching up though. So have to do something quickly. Here Good play go. around. Oh. Just need to elevate that shot a bit. Yeah, I couldn't quite connect with it. Oh, and there's a goal. Goal. Let's hear it. Good luck there. And just able to put it over that keeper's hands. And that one just might put this one away. Five to two. I'd say so. This is a hard hole to climb out of now. The keeper just got her finger tipped on it, but couldn't, couldn't corral it into a chest. No, it's a little too high for her. Martin coming off the field after a great showing on the offensive end and defensive end, fighting for every single ball, and like you said, getting all those 50-50 balls. The crowd's been chanting for Mr. Bertelli all night, and he just acknowledged her. That could be a sign that thing they're put away, and he's very comfortable with this lead. I'd say Mr. Bertelli can uh, sleep well tonight after, <laughs> this, after this game. That's for sure. Natalie carrying it up In the, the center. In the 57th minute, Looking Frontier around, front goal scored girl. by number four, Choosing Caitlin to put it in the Devine. Middle. Assisted shot, by number skips, 10, Angela Yeah, good idea by Maddie Crocker there in the middle. Yeah, Crocker, the new addition. 
doing very well in the center. Controlling passes and setting up her teammates. Yeah, Doug and I were talking a little earlier about how important those uh, bench players are, and she definitely showed her value tonight. Something we haven't really touched on tonight is Frontier's passing. They're doing a great job of keeping Ethel off the ball. Yes, they are. Ethel does not seem to be either fast enough or able enough to get these Frontier passes. Got to hand it to the ball boys tonight. Really doing a great yeah, this job is true. Of giving it to those throwing takers. Every sporting event has so many people that don't get enough credit, and we're just trying to give it, give it to all of them tonight. Anyone we haven't mentioned, we've mentioned the refs, the coaches, FCAT, all our fans here. Oh, hard challenge. Advantage given to Athol on that one. And it looks like on the corner of the field, Maricela Ackerman is warming up, so we might see her come in this game. That'll be a good showing by the junior goalkeeper who will be moved in the starting position next year as one of the leaders of this Frontiers team. Yeah. Yeah, with Lexic graduating, she'll definitely be the go-to goalkeeper for us. Boyden? Yeah, Lexa Boyden's graduating. Maricel is coming in. Oh, uh, Boyden. Right. What did I say? This is Lexa. Oh, my bad. <laughs> We're trying to stick with last names here. Athol with another corner. 20 minutes left in the game. They're going to need to start getting some attempts if they want any chance of even staying in this game. You know, I thought there was an MIA rule about only having one uh, coach up, but both sides have two coaches up here, so it seems like that rule is not really being enforced or followed tonight. No. Are we going to see a fourth? Are we? She'll go for that corner again. Can't quite get it. And I thought it was a nice job clearing it out. Putting it up that right corner. They love that right corner. Clearing it into the middle. You got two girls out there. See, they're just a little late. If they had been up there already, it would have been a great opportunity. Devine with a good challenge. Can't quite get it from the athlete midfielder. Now Frontier will try and carry it up the middle. Got a few subs coming on. And we're just under 20 minutes to go here in the game. We have Danak, Hamilton, and number 11 coming off. Well, Macklin Hamilton and Dana have all put on a great effort tonight. It's good to see Patelli finally give them a rest. Have the bench players finish off this wonderful performance. Yeah, it's always a luxury to be able to use, use substitutes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Always good to have fresh breath in your player and things. Yeah. will have an attempt. Safely secured by the athlete keeper. She's been in good location on multiple occasions here, hasn't she? Yeah, some of those goals, even Peter Bronke couldn't stop them. For those of you who don't know, Peter Bronke is our star, star keeper for the boys team. Only let up a few goals this year. Yeah, he's already put up a few shutouts, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Good ball up the left side. Then Kevitz is on a run. The middle. Oh, oh, great pass through the defender's legs. The Kevitz is fighting for the ball. Fighting a little too much, it seems. Gotta control those hands. Such a tough job for the rest when both players are really going at it. How do you make that call? You really gotta make the hard decision. Nice 
Oscar after the throwing. Well, that just got right through everyone, didn't it? I thought trying with these long balls. Oh. Hard steal. What percent of that do you think was real, and what do you think was flopping there? Well, in a sport uh, infamous for flopping, you know, you really can't be too sure these days. But it did seem like the Frontier player had put some of her weight into that Athol. Yeah, I hate, I hate to be the cynic, but in a sport like this where we were constantly seeing people carted off the field and then hopping around the second they get on the sideline, you always have to ask yourself. Good ball in the center. Almost going for goal. Oh, man. Just too much heat on that one. They are really getting loud here at Frontier Football Field. What's this field called? Does, does the stadium have any name? We'll just call it the football field. But the atmosphere here is just, just amazing. I can hardly hear you speak. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Did you say something? This crowd, I uh, know, unbelievable. Just deafening. Have a great showing now. Stadium, nearly three quarters full. <laughs> yeah, at least a couple hundred people here tonight. And you've got to think the girls on the field really appreciate this support. At the least. And here we have a, we have the keeper switch coming in now. Maricel Ackerman wearing number zero in blue. Will be stepping onto the field in replace of Lexa Boyd. Boyd has done a great job tonight. The yeah. senior stalwart has really held her own in that net. Yeah, I'm sure. She'll earn a well-earned uh, round of applause when she comes off the field. I have no doubt about that. I hope she gets a candy bar from Mr. Patelli after that performance. She really deserves one. Is that, that, is that what you'd want? Is that what you want? That is what I would want. Right over the top of the hole once again. And out, out. Boyden's going to get her water bottle and exit the... Exit the penalty box. All right. Quite the performance by her. Hugs her teammate. Great. Great attitude shown by Borden. Yep. Getting relieved. And Probably here's, here's the round of applause straight. I was talking about. Borden sure deserves it. Yeah. High five from Mr. Tully. A great game all around from her. You know, neither of the goals was really by any means her fault. No, that PK was quite the hard driven ball. And that unlucky cross right into the middle to that awaiting defender really couldn't have been prevented by Boyden. She might have even earned a king size candy bar tonight, I'd say. Another team fully gaining possession. So as it stands right now with this result, Frontier is going to take over third place in the Pioneer North Division. And they've got to be excited about what the future of the season holds. Still a few games clear of Mahar. But when the rematch comes, Frontier could really put on a great show after what they've shown tonight. Yeah, I think Mahar is far and away the favorite right now, but you never know. No, we should see them play first. Hopeful send by Athol. Good control by the Frontier defense. And then give it back to Athol. quite enough though. It's Beth recovers and looks to send it out of bounds and out of arms well. Here 
come the chance again from the student section. They are truly excited about this great performance by their Frontier Girls soccer team. Panthers sending it down the line. Given to Martin, who looks to run with it. Looks for a pass. Gets one to Thompson, who controls it, gives it to Devine, who then controls it and shoots it up to, to Self. Self will take a shot. Almost hit the scoreboard. Almost a field goal. Yeah, Self's done a great job tonight, though. Our AD up in the booth is commenting on this ball control. And Carson and I would have to agree, it's been fantastic all night. Especially in that play right there. They were really able to execute four or five quick passes and get a good open shot right at the top of the 18. Exactly what they want, especially the self, who we know has a very powerful kick. Stifled by the front two defense once again. Raffles gets it back. Nearly sends it down to their right wing. They just can't get anything going here, can they? Oh, there's some good passing going on right now. A shot is taken far too slow and off target to do any damage. And Ackerman quickly collects it. Beth with the kick. And the header to clear it once again. She's really been everywhere tonight. And she ends up with it too. Devine trying to make something happen once again. Ooh, Dan Kevitz is making a run down the left side, but Devine just didn't see it, I guess. She wants those runs. Steel sending it back up that left side, looking for a run from their left wing. Looking towards the middle, will she get a pass off? Not quite. Frontier is able to stifle that poor attempt. Apo gets it down the sideline. Looks towards the middle, right into the center. I think both teams are getting a little tired here as we're approaching about nine minutes to go in the game. Which has to be expected, of course. Of course, some of these girls have been running for the full 71 minutes. Yeah. No easy task. Not at all. Us as cross country runners know that very well. Exactly. Even us, though, we're not running 71 minutes. That's true. Cantor, Devine, and Thompson come off. Great playmaking they've had right up in the center. Kevitz with the ball. Hard shot. And there's Kevin number four. To the left corner. My, oh, my. She has been relentless on this Athol defense. Three goal lead wasn't enough for her. She had to make it four. This must be a career night for her. We don't have the statistics right here, but a four goal game, those, you don't see those every day, do you? No, you do not. In the 72nd right minute, Frontier's goal Hamilton plays it in at the Kevitz. The Kevitz has it in the Natalie center again. Then Kevitz, assisted by number 14, Cambry now. Hamilton. Plays it out to the center. Looks towards the middle. Athol stifles that attempt. With the sixth goal of the night for Frontier, that's their new season high. Definitely a powerful offensive performance here tonight. 
and defensive. Really both ends of the field have played outstanding tonight and have really brought together this win. Yeah, early in the game, you know, it was like, I thought it was up 2-1, weren't they? And Frontier just came back stronger than ever. They did not give up. And since then, their defense has been very sturdy. No handballs, no uh, crosses without picking up everybody inside the 18. Adapted very well to the play, and it's paid off. Oh, long try. Those shots just will not cut it. Right now. Yeah, I thought just trying to put something together, take some positives away for tonight for their hour-long drive back to Orange, which I doubt it'll be a very fun ride. Probably not a lot of a lot of high spirits on that bus, but that's no. sports for you. That'll be a silent bus. Hamilton with it up top. Over toward their wing. Athol trying to put it up that corner. Chance. Taken away again, but given right back. Back to that corner. Here's a chance. Great rush by Ackerman coming out to stop that. Ah, slow getting up. Hopefully she's all right. A great save on Marisol there, and the crowd certainly appreciates it too. Valiant effort by her, totally brave, rushing towards that ball. The striker was right there, ready to plant her foot in the ball and send it to the back corner. Yeah, I tell you, goalie must be one of the most most difficult positions in sports. You really have to be ready to lay your body on the line like she just did there. Good ball to Marie. Plays it to the wing. Back to the center. So after tonight's game, Frontier will look ahead to play Hopkins, then Smith Boak, and then Mohawk, and then go again against Pope Francis. So those are all winnable games, so Frontier's looking at having a pretty good record going into the second half of the season. Hopkins won't be very easy, though, with only one tie, two wins, and zero losses on the season. Well, they have a loss. It was just out of league play. Hopkins beat Athol 2-1 early in the season, so that's, that figures to be a good game for Frontier. Definitely a winnable game for us. Definitely. The fans starting to warm up the bus. Cheers. All in good taste here at Frontier. Maybe not the best of cheers. But they've certainly made up their mind about this game. Hancock with the pass to Martin in the center. Good play to Devine. He dribbles with it up top. Great pass to Crocker. He sends it into the middle. Are we looking at another goal? Hamilton looking for a shot. Oh. Straight down the middle. Keeper was able to get that. It was a good strike, though. Yeah, as hard as you kick it, if you kick it right at the keeper, probably won't go in. So I know all of us athletes have. Uh, been blown out a few times in our lives. What would you say as advice to this Athol team after a rough 6-2 as it stands right now loss? Well, they should uh, adhere to the 48-hour rule. 48 hours after this match, they have to just leave it out of their minds and look on to the next one. Yeah, I'd say that's great advice. Oh, not uh, quite the throw-in that is usually tolerated. We're under three minutes to go here at Frontier. And ball in the corner. And that brings it up. Oh, Frontier giving a gift in the 18. Just wide. 
just a relentless attack tonight for Frontier. They're really not giving up. Seems I thought we'll have a goalie switch. Still great spirit from the Zaffo girls. Yeah, you love to see that. Win or lose, it's all about having fun. It's all about the team. At this point, Athol can only wish to make the less, make the loss less painful. So as this game winds down, we'd like to encourage you to check out FCAT. Uh, we, we cover sports, events, plays, concerts, and much, much more. Check us out on YouTube or on the website. Or on channel 12 in the four towns. YouTube channel is FCAT Media. Frontier playing it back. Really just looking for this game to end now. Two minutes left in the game, the clock will stop. Play out the last two, roughly two minutes. This Frontier winds down on what is otherwise a successful night. Yeah, they've got to be very optimistic looking forward at the rest of the season. Ackerman punts. High ball to the center. Risky challenge from the frontier midfielder. Didn't quite get ball there. Athol with the kick. Oh, nice play. Play. Diving. Collection. And that'll do it tonight. Final score 6 2 here in Frontier. Scores, leading scorer, Natalie Denkevitz with four goals, topping off a career night for her. Yeah, just an unbelievable performance all around. But great spirit from both teams. Really great respect they've given each other. Any last words to our viewers, Kirsten? Well, I can only urge you to continue to check out our FCAT Media broadcasts, see our plays, concerts, and our other activities that we do cover. And continue supporting the Red Hawks. Yep, it has been our pleasure here covering the game tonight. And we'd like to thank once again the law office of Daniel F. Graves in Greenfield, focusing on real estate, estate planning, and business law. Law at gmail.com. I'm Alex Sharp. And I'm Carson. Thank you for watching.